Whenever I want to pull information that has possibly two different conditions to look at, I've got the two different keywords, the and or or, to use, and they produce different results. And so you have to really have an understanding of how to use either of them. And so if I run a quick select all of my table, and I'll use the books table again so I can see all the information. So we can do this um, and and or and figure out the information that I want to actually pull out and make sure it's in the correct order. Uh, I may say that I want to have two different categories or two different things for my condition. I may, may say that I want to have it to be fiction and I want it to be greater than, we'll say, $10. And so if I look through my information here, I'll find that for my fictions, okay, I can look through all my fictions. This one here, even though it's greater than $10, should not show up because it is not a fiction category. However, if I want the fiction category to be true, as well as a greater than $10, this book should show up, The Enemy of God, Novel of Author, The Heretic should show up, A Game of Thrones should show up, A Storm of Swords should not show up, because it is not both fiction and greater than $10, and if you keep going through, The Winter King should show up, Excalibur should show up, The Harlequin should show up, The Vagabond should show up, and Dances with Dragons should show up. So. The records that should not show up should be this one right here, which is book ID number 9 and book ID number 10. So let's go ahead and do this quick condition so we can see how this works. So I've got select, and I can do the select basically all my categories from the books table. And let's go ahead and add our condition now. We can say where category is equal to, actually we're going to say category is equal to fiction. So I'm going to use a single quote here. And now I have to make sure that it's, it's the right case uh, as far as uppercase and lowercase for my word fiction because the lowercase letters are different than the uppercase letters. So it has to be in the right case or case sensitive here for this one. So I'm going to say where it's category. And then I'm going to choose and as my keyword. Price is going to be greater than $10. So let's go ahead and run this. And what you can see here with my results is that it pulled out only eight rows, which means two of them have been left out of the 10 records that I've got. You can see that all of my fictions are here and all of my prices are over $10. So both conditions were met. If I take out the word and and use the keyword or, so now I'm gonna say my categories are fiction or the price is greater than $10. If I run this, you're gonna see it returned all 10 back and you're going to say wait a minute how did that happen well here's the reason why number nine book ID number nine right here it is this one was left out in the previous query and the reason being is because it was fiction and it was less than ten dollars but now that I said that it's either it either can say fiction or it can be price of like greater than ten dollars it met one of those conditions and so I was able to meet one of those conditions this book here record number ten also showed up and you're going to say well that's not fiction and the reason being of course is the same scenario that it met the price that was greater than ten dollars and so only one of those conditions had to be met rather than the both of these conditions and so when you use the word or it refers to one of these conditions have to be met the word and means both conditions have to be met and we can get into some really complicated queries here where we're typing things in. You can use parentheses to try to order them um, like the order of operations you would have find in math as far as combining things together. But you've really got to look at it and understand and ask yourself, what is it that I'm actually typing in here? If I'm using the word or, I'm saying, okay, there's a split here, meaning that one of those two conditions have to be met in order for it to be true. If I use the word and, I'm going to be combining both of those conditions as as in, as a need for this uh, for the results to be true. So this is just using the and and or and seeing the difference here between it and a simple query that we were able to pull out.